Uh, I just tell guys, just don't look in here. Don't look in here, right? Does it intimidate a lot of people today? Yeah, I think the younger generation, I thought would take off on this, but we don't have this in the school system. The text, they don't have That's this. That's a whole other deal with the trade, isn't it? We know, right? We We've do done the, a couple shows on the We do the podcast. It's just so important. Like, we stress people, don't not look at it because of some kind of right. We got to get process it. you have in your head that it's right. not a good career. We got to get this in the tech school. Yeah. What they got in there is 1990. And then when they get out in the oh, field. So you're saying the equipment they do have in there is yeah. really yeah. Well, I went to school. I mean, yeah. uh, when they get out of the when they get out of school, this is what they're going to come up on. Yeah. And they're just going to. You know, my experience too. Like I'm not a tech, right? I've been right. in the sales side for my whole life. But when someone walks me through it and I'm troubleshooting a problem, right. you learn so fast. Oh yeah. It looks intimidating. Like we sell a lot of ant equipment and you open that thing up and there's Same all thing. these boards in there, but each of them have a specific purpose. That's right. It's real simple. Once you get in there and break open that fear of like, it's intimidating to me, go out there with a guy and just learn it. Yeah. And troubleshooting it is the best way to learn. Yeah. Opinion. And hey, I mean, I, this is what I take around the classes, hands on, I yeah. can roll this in. Um, and we just go through each component and they realize, oh, it's just a regular heat pump. Yeah. It's just being told what to do with That's different right. things. That's, That's it. Right. Other than that, All it's the, the same heat pump you've same always thing, worked right. on, right? So well, air handling unit? Yep. Variable so, speed fan? Actually, Bosch has no variable speed. This is their variable speed, right? Okay. So this is their Cadillac, which is constant torque, super basic, Y1, Y2. Gotcha. Two speeds. They have a 15 sear air handler that's a PSC motor that just came out. Nice. So it's like when everybody thought they were gone, Bosch brought it back. Yeah. But that's a price market, right? Uh, single speed, Y1. Now, the 15 sear matchup for it is a full inverter. It's only 15 100% though, right? Right, right. Trying to explain that to a homeowner is difficult. Right? Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, air handler is an air handler. I don't know if these will ever get any fancier, right, right. residential-wise. TXV, it's a Danfoss in here. Right. Um, does have dehumidification, which all that does for us is slow the blower down to the Good. first speed. Perfect. Um, Great way to do it. Runtime, right? Extend runtime. It's actually measuring the space humidity, RH. Well, it's all here. Yeah. It's all in here. yeah. It's so you can humidity. set it now, you know, the deal, right? Yeah. You can set this to whatever you want the humidity to be. Right. But the only way to dehumidify is to turn this off. I understand. So do you want to overcool? How much? Yeah. Uh, you can extend runtime on here, you know. Right. Uh, now, when you get to a foamed house, right? Residential is getting more high performance. We got to start bringing in commercial product. Yeah, ERVs, yeah. you know, that yeah. that's that's starting to be a thing. Yeah, residential is turning into this. Yeah, I mean it really is, right? So yeah, yeah. So what do we got here? Package unit. Yep, 15 sear pack, heat pump pack. Uh, Bosch doesn't have a gas pack. Okay, they're, they're pretty much getting out of the gas game, if I had to guess, right? It's probably not a good time to get into the gas no. game. that's for sure. So full inverter, 15 sear. Probably the worst thing Bosch has going for them is that yellow sticker, right? Because that's 100%. These don't run in 100% on a Explain day like that today. Explain that to me. Explain that to me. So, the yellow sticker, you mean the energy guide sticker? That's right. Okay. When they rate those, they they put them at, you know, 0.5 static, 100%. Yeah. Amp draw, bolts, check the watts. Yeah. Here's our sear, you know, divided by our BTUs. We got our sear. That's 100%, right? Yeah. I'm looking for SEER 3, SEER 4. When's that coming for these products? Yeah. That's a big killer for this because today, this will not run 100%. Right. I mean, nor should it. It's a high of 75 right. today. No, right. Nor should it. Right. So this 15 SEER can come on and run at 33% and stay there. Yeah. And it's 1% inverter increments. Right. So, um, you know, we look at these boards, 43 hertz. It's all, yeah, 43 hertz. So its base is 29 hertz. 
Its max is 65. What is that the hertz of? The condenser motor? The compressor. The compressor, okay, right. That's it. Yep. 29 is that base. So we're running it, you know, we got a, we got 68 degrees coming in. Yeah. Perfect. Everything Bosch has looks at suction pressure. It's a load matching system. Whatever's yeah, yeah. coming in the return. Great. You know, yeah. It sounds simple. I don't know why we hadn't come out with it before now, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, Great we got it. It's a good product. I mean, it's, it's obviously small. This is a three ton package. Yeah. So. Awesome. Good, good, man. How do yeah. people find out more about this stuff? KeystoneSales.com. KeystoneSales.com or InsideUSA.com or Bosch Heating and Cooling. Is there you go. Right? That's right. Thank you, Thanks, sir. Tony. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Thanks yeah. for coming to the Thank show. You. Yeah, man.